Hi guys and welcome to another episode of XPS Updates, the show that brings you all of the hottest information for our fantastic application Final Fantasy Brave XPS Global, available to you guys on iOS, Android, as well as Amazon devices. I'm your host Shali and we're here with our always special guest. Hi, I'm Hiroki. I'm producer of Final Fantasy Brave XPS Global version. Today. Yeah. <laughs> Today something very special is happening yes. here yes. because yes. a collaboration that I have been waiting for a very long time and you guys have been waiting for a long yes. time is finally coming to FFB Global. That's right. First of all, uh -huh. check out this trailer. Part two. Kingdom Hearts Part, part two. two. I'm sorry, I got a little bit excited there. Kingdom <laughs> Hearts Part, part two. two collaboration. Collaboration is yes. coming to FFB Global. I am so excited to have both Riku and Sephiroth from Kingdom Hearts join the world yeah. of FFB Global. Yes. I'm so, 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 so excited. <laughs> so excited. So maybe everyone wants to know the more detail. Yes, yes, we do. So, okay, let's move on to Alex. Hello everyone, I'm Alex and I'm back. I'm glad to be back with you again with more information, all the latest and the greatest from the development team. And yeah, this time about Kingdom Hearts, which is really cool. I'm so excited. Because I gotta say, I went to Sky Tree, which is like a really big uh, tower basically in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. And they had like a huge, loud, awesome projection, mm -hmm. like display of like Kingdom Hearts nice. and like this thing for like a whole 10, 20 minutes on like the walls Beautiful. of the tower. It was. It was amazing. I missed it. Yeah. I'm sad now. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if they still have it, so. But oh. It was, yeah. I wasn't even expecting it. It was just like, Phew. It's a beautiful present from the universe. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. But what's even more awesome is the fact that we're having another uh, Kingdom Hearts event in Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Yes, part two is here. Yeah, so just uh, jumping yes. straight into the event. This time mm -hmm. it's going to be a raid event, Heartless Large Body. Mm -hmm. It's going to be your typical raid event, but this time you'll also be able to get event limited equipment uh, from the event that you can craft. And some of the main rewards you'll be able to get with that is first, Sephiroth's boots. Nice. Which is going to be from Kingdom Hearts. Uh, yeah, that is a mouthful to say. Mm. Sephiroth's boots. <laughs> you have to say that three times really fast. But, <laughs> really fast. <laughs> but anyways, it's going to be an accessory which will give you plus 250 HP, plus 100 MP, as well as plus, as plus 40 attack and plus 20 defense magic and spirit. Mm -hmm. So you got that and then you also got dodge roll which is going to be an ability materia this time, which will boost HP and MP by 30% as well as give you a chance of evading some physical attacks. Yes, and I do believe that evasion uh, percentage is a nice 20% and you guys know that we're always struggling to find some um, you know, equipment with evasion in the game, so don't miss out this chance to get a very, very nice equipable ability that has a nice whopping 20% on it. There you go, get your 20% uh, physical attack evasion mm -hmm. through this event, and yeah, it will last for two weeks, I Correct. believe, right? Mm -hmm. But during the second week, we will also have a trial boss as well, and you can also get some really cool rewards from that too. So, mm -hmm. about those rewards uh, that you'll get from uh, completing the mission, you'll be able to get your hands on a solid necklace, which is going to be an accessory that grants you plus 30 defense, as well as enables solid necklace, which boosts your defense every turn. Yes, I think it boosts by 80%, so not too shabby there. Okay. There nice. you go, so that's nice. And you'll also be able to get your hands on White Fang, which is also going to be from Kingdom Hearts. It's going to be an accessory, which will give you plus 15 attack and defense, as well as plus 20% NP. Nice, so make sure that you guys are all prepared to take on the cute large bodies, you know, those recognizable uh, big guys from the Kingdom Hearts world, and also the trial boss, which is going to be the behemoth, which I think is the absolute yeah. the most adorable rendition of a behemoth that I've ever seen in my entire life. But good luck to you guys, and make sure that you collect all of those amazing rewards. 
All right, and it's now time to get into the units that we'll be making it from yeah. Kingdom Hearts into FFBE Global. We have the grand entrance of both Riku and Sephiroth from Kingdom Hearts. Very exciting because we had Sora and Claude before, you know, who stand for light and goodness in this realm of Kingdom Hearts. Now we have the darker side with Riku and Sephiroth. So. Ready to see what, what they've got for us. Now, Riku is going to obviously be a five-star base, so you can evolve him all the way to seven-star. He's going to be a physical attacker who's going to specialize in dark elemental chains, which is not something that we see very often because mm -hmm. a lot of our bosses are usually dark element related, and so if you hit them with dark elemental damage, it doesn't really do yeah, yeah, yeah. much. But for those you know rare bosses that are weak to dark elemental damage or you can imperil them against dark elemental damage, Riku is going to be your guy. Uh, he is going to have a global uh, upgrade to his Limit Burst. It's going to be a little bit different than the Japanese version. It's going to work in this way. It's going to deal partial and mitigated damage. And it's going to reduce dark resistance for all enemies. At 120% if you max out the LB at 7 stars. So that's 120% oh, yeah. dark in peril that you can fully take advantage of. It's magnificent. It will also enable triple command for four turns in the global version as well. So that means that you can do three simultaneous mm -hmm. uh, damage abilities um, nice. in one turn for, you know, four times in a row, basically, which is uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, his trust master is going to be Soul Eater. Now this is a Keyblade, so only Riku can equip this mm. weapon because only the Chosen One can, can wield the Keyblade. Um, it's going to be a sword, it has an attack of uh, 160, and it does have a passive called Eater of Souls. This is also a global upgrade. It boosts life resistance by 25%, it restores MP every turn, and it boosts uh, equipment attack when you are dual wielding. So you okay. have um, you know, one sword here and then one sword here. Nice. So obviously you want to equip the Soul uh, Eater Keyblade and then have another type of sword for him to yeah, be able yeah, yeah. to take advantage of that um, dual wielding attack boost there. And then his Super Trust Master is going to be the counterpart to Sora's uh, Super Trust Master, Heart's Darkness. We so all have sad. a little bit of darkness in us, am I right? A little bit. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. This is going to be an equipable materia and it's going to boost attack by a whopping 70%, which is a very, very lovely number. Yeah. Uh, it's going to boost light resistance by 50% and it's going to boost equipment attack by a 50% when, it, when you're armed with two one-handed weapons, again, when you're dual wielding. This is not stackable, of course. Nice. So, you know, you have the passive from the Eater of Souls when you're dual wielding. You also, if you equip the Super Trust Master on top of that, more boost for your attack when you're dual wielding. So obviously we want to make sure that Riku has two weapons on him at all times. And he's also going to have this cooldown ability called Dual Trigger that you can use once uh, every four turns. And it's going to reduce uh, his own defense mm -hmm. by 15%, but the, the payout, the trade-off is that it's going to boost his own attack by 250% for three turns. So that, that's a lot of attack to be having. Yeah. Um, Sounds pretty worth it. Dealing yeah. damage with. Um, and then it's going to also enable triple command for three turns. So you want to make sure that during those three turns that triple command is enabled. He has this 250% attack boost uh, on him. You just go ham on everybody that is that is in your way. Just completely obliterate them. Just, you know, obviously keep in mind that he's reducing his own defense. So have your tank ready to cover Riku in, in case we are dealing with a tough boss. All right, okay. um, and now we're moving on to Sephiroth from Kingdom Hearts, the one-winged angel, another five-star base to seven-star. Um, he's going to be a light and dark element physical okay. attacker. So he, he dabbles in both. He's, he, he can deal all kinds of, of damage. And his LB is also going to be uh, adjusted for the glow version, and let me tell you guys how. It's going to damage all enemies at a 35 uh, modifier, but it's also going to boost the damage of certain abilities uh, maxed out at seven-star. Mm -hmm. at a three times modifier and it's also going to include another ability called vanisher but it's not included Ooh. in the japanese version and vanisher is really good because it deals uh, partially mitigated damage to one enemy but it also helps to boost yeah. uh, to fill your lb gauge so while you're dealing damage mm -hmm. you boost that damage with your lb and then you're also boosting your lb gauge at the same time with that you, do you see the endless cycle that we're getting at here? Yes. It has a nice cycle. LB is everything. So make sure that you have um, your Sephiroth's Limit Burst uh, completely masked out. Uh, let's take advantage of that. Then his Trust Master is going to be Sephiroth's beautiful long coat from Kingdom Hearts. It's clothes. It's going to have an attack uh, of 30, raw 30, and then defense and spirit uh, plus 18. 
and it's going to enable two passive abilities and this gets a little bit tricky because one passive is exclusive to Sephiroth Kingdom Hearts mm -hmm. and then the other one if any other unit can take advantage of this passive. So the first one that is for Sephiroth only is going to be called Clad in Darkness and it's going to boost physical damage against uh, humans by 50%. And so, you know, he's not very fond of people, if you know Sephiroth, he's just, you know, he has issues. But um, the second one's called Heroic Arts, and this one is the one that any unit can use if they have uh, Sephiroth's long coat equipped. It's going to boost HP and attack by 20% uh, when equipped with a katana. So as long okay. as you have it on a katana wielder, it, it will work very, very nicely. Nice. Now his Super Trust Master is going to be the Masamune Kingdom Hearts version. It's, this is a katana, of course. It's going to have an attack of 172. Mm. Very, very nice. It is a two-handed weapon. So um, unlike okay. uh, the original Masamune for Sephiroth, I believe it's, it's a one-handed um, katana. So they're a little bit different in that respect. It has a passive called Master Swordsman, which is going to boost attack by 30% and physical damage against humans by 50%. Okay. So if you have nice. both his long coat and his Masamune equipped on the same, you know, <laughs> Sephiroth Kingdom Hearts, then that's a total of 100% um, percent de boosted damage against humans. I'm getting Just, like flustered, you know, <laughs> talking flustered. about all this stuff. But I mean, it's uh, absolutely amazing. Definitely recommend having both for Sephiroth so that he can take full advantage of that uh, man killer power there. And then one of his cooldown abilities uh, to note here is Prepare to Fall. It's one Ooh. of the um, quotes that he actually says in Kingdom Hearts. Um, and you can use this once every five turns. It's going to reduce attack, defense, magic, spirit um, by I believe 65% for two turns and light and dark resistance for all enemies by 120 percent which is again very very nice in peril there for 120 percent and it's going to fill uh his lb gauge to the max wow okay very very nice free lb every five turns yeah it's like... exactly just again this sephiroth is is, is very uh lb based i want to say lots to take advantage of from casting his lb yeah. lots of abilities to help him fill his lb so make sure that you have his lb completely maxed out um, at seven star and that will come in really 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 handy Mm -hmm. All right, so those are our two new units that are joining from Kingdom Hearts. Now we have to backtrack a little bit and go back to our original Sora and Cloud from Kingdom Hearts because they are getting adjusted to match the Japanese version, finally! It feels Ooh. like it's been so long, I know that I've been waiting for this for forever. So let me tell you guys how uh, Sora and Cloud are getting upgraded. So first let's go with Sora. Sora is getting an upgrade to his uh, Limit Burst. At 7-star maxed out LB, he's going to have a 30 uh, times modifier to his damage, which is okay. very, very nice. Uh, the status reduction effect that is uh, attached to the limit burst is going to go up by 70%, so it, it, it will be a 70% total. And then um, it will increase the number of turns that you can triple cast. Uh, so do nice. use triple command. It's going to be four turns now at the maxed out level okay. um, limit burst 7-star. Nice, nice, nice. So very, very nice there. Now his Kingdom Key, again, this is uh, a Keyblade, so only Zora can equip this weapon. Uh, sword is going to be an attack of 160, that hasn't really changed. The enabled ability, though, the passive mm -hmm. that is attached um, to the Kingdom Key that is called Key's Begotten Power, yeah. um, has been upgraded for global. And I don't mean as in like it was matched to the Japanese version, I mean that it has surpassed it the Japanese it's version. Surpassed. Yes, let me, let me explain how. So this is going to boost Fire, ice, lightning, water, wind, earth, light, and dark resistance by 10%. Basically every element <laughs> yeah. by 10%. Yeah, it's going to restore MP every turn. It's going to boost equipment attack when armed with two one-handed weapons. But mm -hmm. uh, whereas in the Japanese version, this boost is only 30%. In the global version, this boost will be 50%. Hey-o. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Now his Super Trust Master, Heart's Light, uh, is an equipable material. Uh, Ability, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to boost attack by 70% and boost equipment attack when armed with two one-handed uh, weapons. And this is not stackable. So before, um, the boost for dual wielding was 20%, but now it has been updated to match the Japanese version up to 50%. So now Sora mm -hmm. is on par um, with his Japanese counterpart, which is great. Plus, he gets a little bit of, of an upgrade to his um, passive there on the key, Kingdom Key. Yeah. Whew, okay, and then another global upgrade that Sora is receiving is for his cooldown ability combo plus. You're going to be able to use it now once every five turns. Okay. Very nice. Boost own attack and damage of certain abilities by a three times modifier, and it's going to enable triple command for four turns as well. So 
Absolutely. Great news for Sora fans out there. He's getting a little bit of a buff while also getting matched up to his Japanese counterpart. Absolutely love it. Now to yeah. my favorite person in the whole world, Cloud, here. This yeah. is not a secret He's to anyone. Save the best for last. I know. I know, right? I'm so excited. I keep like flaring up. But uh, Cloud, Kingdom Hearts here. Um, is he's going to get an upgraded Limit Burst uh, for the global version. His uh, maxed out LB at 7 star is going to have a 25 times modifier, which is very, very nice damage wise. His uh, Super Trust Master, the Buster Sword, is going to be updated to match his Japanese counterpart. So, whereas before it was 180 attack, now it's going to be 190 attack. So, you get that extra 10 there. Very, very nice. And then another global upgrade that we have for Cloud is going to be for his cooldown ability called Cross Clash Omen. Now this one you're going to be, uh, be able to use once every four turns. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So boost Omen attack, it removes attack reductions for self and then it enables Cross Slash Plus and triple limit for three turns. So your Cloud Kingdom Hearts will now be able to triple cast for three turns. Slow clap, slow clap. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Very, very exciting. That, that's that's the bottom line of that. That's very, very exciting because none of the uh, clouds in FFV have yeah, been yeah. able to triple cast anything so far. So this is very, very exciting. Damage for days. And I cannot wait for Riku and Sephiroth to come join us. I'm so excited. Yeah, I know. I never got my hands on Sephiroth either. And so now is my chance. And yeah, in case you couldn't tell that she's excited. She's been like, <laughs> like this before we started shooting. <laughs> so yeah. It's our little secret. But look forward to it, guys. Okay, and now, of course, we will be having another Step Up Summon so that you can get your hands on all of these characters. And this time, it's going to be a 24K nice. uh, Step Up Summon. Nice count. Yeah, uh -huh. Nice discount right there. And you'll be able to do four uh, total loops mm -hmm. of it. And, of course, on Step 5, you are guaranteed uh, one five-star, either Riku or Sephiroth from Kingdom Hearts. Mm -hmm. So you got that guarantee right there, but you can also get your hands on them in more ways than mm -hmm. that just one because you'll also be able to uh, collect uh, these uh, five star guaranteed 20% pickup tickets mm -hmm. uh, through these loops and once you get four of them you can exchange them for a 20% chance of getting either Riku or Sephiroth from Kingdom Hearts. Yes. I believe it's a 10% chance each. Right. Right from a, but even if you don't get them, you still get another five star. Yeah, this, you, you'll know, get right? a rainbow guaranteed, but of course yeah. it would be very nice if that twenty percent really just came through and got yeah, you either Rico or Sephiroth. I'm rooting for you guys. I'll, I'll be, you know, praying. We'll, we'll be background. praying for you. <laughs> yes, and you'll also be able to get coins as well, which you'll be able to uh, uh, exchange in the exchange shop, mm -hmm. and uh, you can also get Riku and Sephiroth uh, prisms from that as well, from Kingdom Hearts very as well. Nice. Yeah. Very, very nice. You collect all of the summon coins, and maybe you didn't get that Riku or Sephiroth from the pickup ticket, but you got that guaranteed prism with the coins there. So, very nice fallback. Mm -hmm. I am very, very excited to get my hands on Riku and Sephiroth from Kingdom yes. Hearts. I need them in my life immediately right now. Yeah. Uh, yes, there's moving. more. There's yeah, more. There's, there's more. Let me yeah, just. There uh, is more. We're yeah, not done just yet. Okay, we're not done just yet because mm -hmm. there is also a surprise, a special uh, campaign yes. that we have going on as well with Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Yes. So yes, this is going to be a collaboration uh, campaign uh, from September 20th to October 3rd, I mm -hmm. believe. So this is going to be really cool because it's going to be a cross-play campaign. So get this, you can basically get rewards in Final Fantasy Brave Exvius by just trying out and playing a Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Nice. Yeah, right? And it's going to be a collaborate, like a collaborative effort. Mm -hmm. So basically the more people uh, go try and play Kingdom Hearts and get to certain points in the game, the better the rewards we're going to get. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? In FFP, that's right. In Final Fantasy Brave X, mm -hmm. yes. And uh, so the max, there's actually going to be two. One, it's going to be a collaboration quest and the mm -hmm. maximum reward we can get from that is going to be a 10 plus one summon, which with a guaranteed five star unit. Love it. Which guaranteed really cool. rainbows are amazing. You need guaranteed rainbows in your life. Mm -hmm. you, know, you can't just go without them. Exactly. 
And just by also playing the main quest, you'll also be able to get uh, rewards because we can get a collaboration login bonus held inside Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, in which you'll be able to get your hands on the Starlight a weapon and the Sora Medal from Kingdom Hearts as well. So. That's right, and to explain what the Starlight um, Keyblade and the Sora Medal okay, from Kingdom Hearts accessory are, let me just give you guys a little sneak peek here. If we're able to uh, get enough people playing Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, which I already am and I'm actually obsessed, yeah. like low-key, everything is so adorable in that game, I can't even right now. But, uh, <laughs> um, of course, the Starlight uh, Keyblade can only be equipped by Sora or Riku because it is a Keyblade and again, you have to be the chosen one to wield it. But it is very nice because it is a sword with 110 raw attack and it also has a passive ability called Starlight, just like the name of the Keyblade, that boosts your attack and magic uh, for all allies for three turns by 100%. So, you know, okay. nothing to yeah, laugh yeah, at. Yeah. Very nice uh, attack and magic boost there. And then the Sora Medal from Kingdom Hearts, which is an accessory that you can equip, has an attack of 14. And it enables an ability called Sora Metal from Kingdom Hearts, mm -hmm. so it has the same name. But it boosts your own attack at the beginning of battle by 80%, so mm. also very, very nice. nice. So, you know, these are nice little uh, rewards that we can get if we all, you know, group together, yeah, yeah. go and play Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Yeah, and I love those, like, you know, collaboration events because it makes you, like, I don't know, feel like part of the community. And, like, we can't get the rewards if we don't all participate, you know? We have to work together yeah. and we have to get each other's backs if we want, uh, you know, to reap all those amazing rewards. Yeah, it's just like that, you know, GOT Season 8 petition, man. It makes you feel like part of the community, but I'm still sour about that. <laughs> but anyways, go play a tryout at Kingdom Hearts Union uh, Cross and let's get those rewards. Yes, enjoy. This is Q&A Corner. Yay! Yeah, where we answer your questions. So, as always, thank you for sending us uh, all your questions. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. So, what question we do, ha do we have? Uh, we have today two questions. Mm -hmm. And the first one here is by Nicholas Christopher. Mm -hmm. And Nicholas wants to know if the global version will ever have a Scorn of the Echidna trial. So a oh. trial in the um, Chamber of the Ending. Ah, Echidna. yes, yes. Mm. So we plan to have an even stronger Echidna, which will be part of the either Chamber of the Indignant or uh, Chamber of Vengeful trials. The same would apply for Global Marvel. Mm, okay, so a couple more global mm -hmm. uh, original bosses there to look forward to in the future. Yes. Both Akina and, Mal uh, Akina and Malbora. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm tripping more words here. But cool, thank you very much yeah. for that. And our second question here is by uh, David Orozco, mm -hmm. or maybe David Orozco, mm -hmm. depending on where you're from. Um, when will we get a gill limit increase? Ah, yes. mm, mm. Many people say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this has been highly requested. So uh, we are currently considering uh, implementing this uh, when the timing is right. Okay, mm. so look forward to it in the future, hopefully sooner than mm. later. But thank you so much for sending all of your questions and make sure that you leave more in the comments below so that we can pick them up for next time and hopefully your questions will be answered on the show. Yeah. Love hearing from you. Thank you. All right, and it's mm. now that very sad time to yes. end the show, mm. but I was very, very, very excited yes. for this Yes, Kingdom of Hearts Collaboration Part 2 is so exciting. It is very exciting. I'm yeah. excited to get my hands on all these units, mm -hmm. but just one more piece mm -hmm. of exciting stuff. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, from September 20th, mm -hmm. part two of the 40 million download celebration yes. campaign going on. Yes! yes. More free stuff. Yeah, Please free bring stuff. it on. Yes, never have enough. Yes, yeah, so to continue showing you guys our gratitude for an astounding 40 million mm -hmm. downloads. Download. In the last episode, it sounded like I said $40 million. It wasn't <laughs> dollars, it was downloads, you guys. <laughs> I wish I had $40 million. But for the 40 million downloads campaign part two, we're going to be receiving a couple of things here. So uh, it, there's going to be a different login bonus that is now going to give 40 uh, million download raffle tickets and 40 million download festo raffle mm -hmm. tickets and you will be able to summon with those tickets obviously and they're going to be they're very special summons that we don't have very many details for them right now but eventually in the news you guys will see them so just stay tuned uh, to the in-game news and more details will be revealed at a later time just be looking forward to that and make sure that you're logging in every day so you don't miss out on those um, we're going to have a celebration quest part two as well they're going to give lapis wear summon tickets as well as other items so make sure that you are doing those 
those quests because they're not really that hard. I think everybody um, can do most of them pretty easily. And then you can just reap the rewards from there. And then you can also still enjoy the half energy campaign that will be continuing for the story mode of FFB. So if you still have to catch up on that second arc of the FFB story now, it's a perfect chance because it, it's getting real close to the end of the season two. Yeah. Of FFB. No, no spoilers. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what happens. I'm not going to say any more than that. We're getting close to the end, so you want to make sure that you're all caught up before somebody ruins the story for you, okay? <laughs> so very, very exciting stuff for the 40 million uh, downloads. No. I almost said dollars again. No, 40 million downloads <laughs> can be <Yeah>, part two. <laughs> yes. <sighs> yes. Uh, and uh, one more little bit information. Uh -huh, yes. Oh, please look this t-shirt oh you, you know the chinese character oh <laughs> chinese yeah. there mm -hmm. so uh ffb chinese version was released last last month oh. end of last month oh. yeah Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah so now even more people worldwide can play ffbe yes it's a global effort it's a yes. family effort it's a yeah. friend effort ffb is for everyone who wants to play, so convince everyone around you to play. Now even everybody in China can play. Yes. So we, we're getting out there, we're gonna get more more downloads, <laughs> and hopefully with more downloads <laughs> comes yeah, more celebrations yes. and more free stuff. Yes. I'm definitely looking forward <laughs> yes. to that. And I'm definitely looking forward to all of the Kingdom Hearts yes. characters. Kingdom Hearts, so make sure you get the new Kingdom Hearts unit Add it to your party. Yes, I know that I'm going to because I need Riku and Sephiroth from Kingdom Hearts yeah. in my life. You already know I've never changed Cloud or Sora out of my party anyway, so we're gonna have the full Kingdom Hearts yes. party going on. <laughs> and hopefully you guys do too. See you on Cheers. the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.